when I was growing up in the Israeli desert, I remember I was riding my pet camel, Shmulik, and it was a very hot day. So as we were riding the desert, all of a sudden I saw an oasis. So me and Shmulik pulled, and I tied him to the little bush. And then I realized that the bush was burning. And inside the bush, I saw a vision of this secret rose-making machine. I am making the secret rose machine. As you can see, those plastic spoons were not stolen or liberated from the Chinese takeout. I actually bought Dixie spoons. And they have to be a same kind. They have to be soup spoons and they are heavyweight. And they're going to be hot glued to trays and I have to make 30 for my upcoming class. And we're going to use them to shape the rose petals. So it's a secret to keep. Martha loved the spoons. And I have to make, I think, 15. And each one has to 2, 4, 6, 8. 8 times 15. But don't tell them how I make it because people think they are hand carved by me out of sugar. And these are not regular wire cutters, they are piano chord cutters. That's what the piano tuner uses. And it was given to me by my friend in Savannah, Lady Diana. Hey. Those little brackets are made from Australian sterling silver. But the other version is if you kind of fold them. Grocer, you get these are apple and oranges crates, which I cut with scissors and cover with a fresh piece of aluminum foil. So for every rose petal, it is the right size. And when you make a rose that size, Really, it's not just me anymore. I owe it all to my wonderful, trusted, talented, handsome, and pretty employees. They taught me everything.